Hey guys, it's me, Mia here with my doggy and Skittles down there being crazy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be making a video. Uh, I'm going to make a tutorial actually. I always wanted some of those little fake designer candles, and I'm going to be making some of those. If you're interested in making them, stay tuned. Peace. All right, here are some things you're going to need printing paper wax paper, tissue paper, a glue stick, tape, your candles, which I got two of them from the dollar store and one of them from Walmart. You're gonna need your scissors and then a hair dryer, which I didn't get in the video. So you're gonna find your logos. And I went on Google Images and I typed up, you know, like I, you see here, Chanel, and how I found the dimensions of how to, you know, print out was I went um, on the bottom of my candle. It basically gives you the height and width of your actual candle. So that's what I did. So basically after all of the logos are on the page and they're in the correct dimensions, we are now going to print them for a test run. And I'm not, I'm printing it on just normal paper. Um, so as you can see, the Chanel is on there. Good. The Tony, oh, Tory Burch, excuse me. It fits, but I made it a little bit smaller on my computer. And then my Versace logo fits just fine as well. So now I am going to print out my final copy. And in order to do that, I have to print it out on this tissue paper. So basically you're gonna cut the tissue paper and you're going to fit it according to your paper. You don't want it to be the exact eight and a half by 11, but you want it to be small enough where you can take the edges and you wanna make sure it's on there smooth. Now I wanna let you guys know in advance that I actually printed the Versace logo by itself on a page and then I printed the other logos on a different page. So don't get confused when you don't see all my logos um, smashed on one page. Okay, after everything is taped really well on your paper, I just went ahead with my scissors and cut off all the excess tape so the paper won't get jammed into in my cheap little printer. So now I am printing out my logo on the tissue paper as you see right here. And it came out really nicely. Make sure to have your printer on the best quality it can print. And next, you're going to cut out your logo. Now, I cut my logo really cl close, like I cut it really close to the actual logo. Um, if you're not good with cutting, you can cut just as close as you can. And um, it's just gonna take a little bit more time for the logo to melt onto your candle. Step five, we're now going to glue our logo onto our candle. And as you see, I'm using purple, a purple glue stick because it does dry clear. Um, now, as far as using like liquid glue, I don't know if that would work. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to apply my logo onto my candle, making sure it's in the center. And I'm gently going to press it down and we want to make sure there are no air bubbles. And just be really gentle, the tissue paper can break. Alrighty. Last step, we're gonna heat up this candle and get it stuck on, uh, you know, get the logo stuck on. So that wax paper, I'm just going to cut it according to the size of my candle, which I mean the height. And we want it to be a little bit bigger than the candle, like taller than the candle. And we wanna make sure it's long enough to wrap around our candle and we can hold on to it at the bottom, or, you know, around the ends. I don't know how to say it. Um, now we're going to heat up that candle right there for about, like I said, three to six minutes. It depends on how big your logo is, how much tissue paper, you know, you have to heat up. You will know when your logo is done because it'll be shiny. Like you see, it's really shiny right there and it's finished. Now we're going to... Are we going to do it yet? Yeah, okay, here we go. We're going to slowly peel off that wax paper. And there it is, it looks really good. I'm so happy the way it turned out, my goodness. I've been trying to do this like DIY forever. So, oh, it's so cute, I love it. So if you guys loved this video and you thought this was a really cool DIY, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more DIYs, give, give me a shout out or something like that. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.